Where am I? I could be anywhere. Greece? Paris? A restaurant? A party? <laughs> hey guys, and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at three editing tips which are going to improve your production value hugely to every single video you make. I think. I'm going to be showing you screen shake, green screen, and masking. <laughs> no, Finn. Not now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Screen shake. I get a lot of questions about how I shake the text, shake the screen, or shake images a lot. I'm not even kidding when I say this. It's the easiest thing you're ever going to do in your life. I promise. So let's go through this step by step. Step one, own Premiere Pro. <laughs> step two, download this exact preset. <laughs> step three, import the preset into Premiere Pro. Step four, use that preset. Wait, Finn, are you kidding? Like we don't have to use any manual keyframing, Adobe After Effects linking, like putting it all together in a different way and like and 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 Bro, are you so are you serious? Yep, it's that easy. Oh, you can apply this to text, images, videos, whatever you need. The only thing you're going to want to change is the shutter angle, which you can find here. This will make it more or less blurry depending on what you want. Here's a side by side to show you what I mean. Green screen. If you're doing your own green screen, then it's going to be a little tricky to achieve good results with, as realistically, you're going to need lights dedicated just for lighting up that green screen itself. Help me. So let's say that you've managed to light your green screen evenly enough and you've just filmed some weird shit on it. All you gotta do now is head into the effects panel and plop on an effect called Ultra Key onto your video file. When you've done that, head on up to the effects controls and select that eyedrop color picker. Click the green on the video there and you've basically done it. If you're using green screen for memes like I'm watching here, then the same thing applies. Ultra Key, select the green, and you're done. There's just a couple of things that you can change on this, like the intensity of how much it's going to get rid of the green screen. You can just play around with that in your own time. Wait, Finn, are you sure about this? I mean, it just seems a bit too easy. Oh yeah, absolutely. The difficulty comes with how smoothly you implement these things and how often you use them. That's where other elements of editing come into play, like transitions and sound effects. <clears throat> Masking. This is probably the hardest out of all three. So let's take this one easy, okay? Don't rile her up. Just take her slow. Follow my guidance, you'll be all right, boy. Let's say you want to duplicate yourself into a scene, showing two of you in the same room at the same time. When you start recording, you have to make sure that you put your camera in one place and keep it there. Do not touch it. Don't touch the camera. When you filmed your masterpiece and you're happy with it, Slap it on into Premiere. Firstly, you gotta layer up those video files, one above the other like this. What you're gonna want to do is select the clip you're working with, the top one, and head straight on over to the effects controls. When you do something like this, you should realize that essentially, you're gonna be cutting something out, therefore leaving an empty space around it. So you need a background to make up for that space. And that's what the bottom video file is for. Okay, you got that? Yeah, you, you got that? You got, you're not finding it too difficult? Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. When in effect controls, you'll see this option here. Select one of the shapes to help you get going or use the drawing tool. Whichever one you pick, cut out the area which you want. When that's done, you should really notice by now why we don't move the camera beforehand. Most of the time when I mask something, I add a bit of feathering to it to make the transition between the two files seem absolutely seamless. As you'll see here. Easy peasy. If you're really wanting to punish yourself and you want to cut something or someone out frame by frame, then you're gonna start heading into keyframe territory. Stay out of my territory. Which in most cases is avoidable if you just plan out the shooting with this in mind. 
If for some reason you must do it or you have no choice, then keyframing is simple. Just start it off by selecting this stopwatch icon here on the mask path variable and start manually shaping it frame by frame. This is just an example, but you get the idea. Here are some other examples of masking and how you can use it. No, 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 no. Is this ah! you? <laughs> Good evening. Finn is our example. Finn's you like a fucking bar. You you Holy fucking shit. You made it to the end of the video. Well done. I'm proud of you. Anyways, here are my social media links. You can go follow me if you want. Why the hell not? You know? Anyways. I think I'm about done here. It's so unfair. So unreasonable. Then get out of here. Wait. Wait, me? Yeah. You. I said get out of here. I said get out of here. <laughs>